18. Those where the act committed is a crime but for reasons of public policy and sentiment, there is no penalty imposed. A. Hello mga kakognizants, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we are going to test your retention and understanding based on my previous discussion about criminal law and jurisprudence. This is our first set which is composed of 120 practice and guide questions on selected topics. And on our second set of practice and guide questions, I am going to pair about 400 questions and without further ado let's get ready to rumble bitaw mag start na ta mga recognizance so question number one light felonies are punishable only when they have been consummated with the exception of those committed against a person b property c both a and b and d animals So, question number two. It is an act of a person which is to be considered in accordance with the law. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Mitigating circumstances. C. Justifying circumstances. And D. All of the above. Question number three. Blank are those to which the law attaches the capital punishment or penalties which in any of their periods are afflicted? A. Grave felonies B. Least grave felonies C. Light felonies and D. All of the above Question number 4 He is one who is old but has a mental development similar to a children between the age of 2 to 7 years a. My classmate B. Imbecile C. Moroon D. Idiot Question number 5 The failure to perform a positive duty which is bound to A. Negligence B. Imprudence C. Omission and D. Act Question number 6. If the penalty is exactly 40,000, apply Article 26. Then it is considered as A. Light penalty B. Correctional penalty C. Afflictive penalty and D. Both A and C. Question number 7. If the penalty is fine and exactly 40,000, Pieces apply Article 9. Then it is considered as A. Light penalty B. Correctional penalty C. Afflictive penalty and D. Both A and B. Question number 8. To be entitled to complete self-defense of chastity, there must be an attempt to rape. Mere eminence thereof will suffice. A. Self-defense of chastity B. Defense of property C. Self-defense and D. Self-defense in libel Number 9. It is an attack on the property which must be coupled with an attack on the person of the owner or of one entrusted with the care of such property. A. Self-defense of chastity D. B. Defense of property C. Self-defense and D. Self-defense in libel Number 10. Physical assault may be justified when the libel is aimed at a person's good name and while the libel is in progress, one libel deserves another. A. Self-defense of chastity. B. Defense of property. C. Self-defense. And D. Self-defense in libel. Question number 11. The loss or perfecture of the right of the government 
to execute the final sentence after the lapse of a certain time fixed by law. A. Prescription of crime. B. Prescription of prosecution. C. Prescription of judgment. And D. Prescription of penalty. Number 12. Circumstances wherein there is an absence in the agent of the crime, any of all the conditions that would make an act voluntary, and hence, though there is no criminal liability, but there is civil liability. A. Exempting. B. Alternative. C. Justifying. And D. Aggravating. Question number 13. It is means that the resulting injury is greater than that which he is intended. A. Aberratio ectus. B. Error in personi. C. Doralex sedlex. And D. Praetor intent. Question number 14. It is covered by the term insanity because homicidal attack is common in such form of psychosis. A. Kleptomania. B. Epilepsy. C. Insane. And D. Dementia precox. Question number 15. Which is a chronic nervous disease characterized by convulsive motions of the muscles and loss of consciousness may be covered by the term insanity. A. Kleptomania. B. Epilepsy. C. Insane. And D. Demen dementia precox. Question number 16. Act is due to the irresistible impulse produced by his mental defect thus loss of, will, of the will power. A. Kleptomania. B. Epilepsy. C. Insane. And D. Dementia precox. Number 17. The word promulgation refers to blank. A. Case record. B. Judgment. C. Order. And D. Trial. Question number 18. Arturo was sentenced by the trial court with death penalty, and when death penalty is still in effect, there was an automatic review by the Supreme Court. While the case is still in the Supreme Court, the death penalty was outlawed. The Supreme Court affirmed the decision of the trial court. What should be the proper penalty to be imposed upon the accused by the Supreme Court? A. Death penalty. B. Reclusion perpetua. C. Reclusion temporal. And D. Prison. Question number 19. Berto was seen and observed by Pioto Peralta in the act of picking the wallet of Carlos. Berto successfully took possession of the wallet of Carlos. At this instance, <clears throat> Pioto Peralta arrested Berto and when Pioto Peralta searched Berto, a bladed weapon was found in his possession. Berto was charged with thief and illegal possession of deadly weapon. He countered that the search made by Pioto Peralta on his person is illegal. Is Berto correct? A. Yes, because Pioto Peralta have no search warrant when he searched Berto. B. Yes, the deadly weapon cannot be used as evidence against Berto because it was illegally searched. C. No, because the search made by Pioto Peralta is incidental to a lawful arrest. And D. Yes, because Pioto Peralta abused his authority when he searched Berto without a warrant. Question number 20. Those circumstances which reduce the penalty of a crime. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Mitigating circumstances. C. Justifying circumstances. And D. Exempting circumstances. Number 21. The penalties imposed by final sentence prescribed as follows. Except A. Other afflictive penalties in 15 years. B. Correctional penalties in 10 years with the exception of a penalty of Aristo Mayor, which prescribes in 5 years. C. Light penalties in 1 year. And D. Death reclusion perpetua or reclusion temporal shall prescribe in 20 years. Number 22. Anyone who acts in defense of his person or rights provided that the following circumstances concur, except unlawful aggression, 
the person making the defense had no part therein, reasonable necessity of the means employed to prevent or repel it, and D, lack of sufficient provocation on the part of the person defending himself. Question number 23. It is the forfeiture or loss of the right of the state to prosecute the offender or file criminal action after the lapse of a certain period of time. A. Prescription of penalty. B. Prescription of crime. C. Combination of A and B. And D. None of the above. Question number 23. Is the loss or forfeiture of the state to execute the sentence following his conviction after the lapse of certain period of time, A. Prescription of crime, B. Prescription of penalty, C. Combination of A and B, and D. None of the above. Question number 25. The penalties of death and reclusion perpetua prescribed in A. 10 years, B. 15 years, C. 20 years, and D. 30 years. Light penalties shall prescribe in a. 6 months, B. 1 year, C. 2 years, and D. 5 years. Number 27. There is complex crime when A. When a single act constitutes two or more grave felonies known as a compound crime. B. When an offense is a necessary means of committing the other, is the complex crime proper. And C. Compound crime because the single act of shooting resulted two or more grave felonies. And D. Both or A and B only. Number 28. A with a revolver should be missing him but the bullet hit X who is A's father. A committed the crime of attempted homicide with parricide. What kind of a complex crime is committed? A. A compound crime because the single act of shooting resulted to two or more grave felonies. B. Complex crime proper and C. Complex crime. Letter D. A and B only. Number 29. Is a physical act manifesting danger to life or limb? It is either actual or eminent. A. Burden of proof. B. Eminent unlawful aggression. C. Unlawful aggression. And D. Actual or real aggression. Number 30. It is an attack that is impending or on a point of happening. A. Burden of proof. B. Eminent unlawful aggression. C. Unlawful aggression and D. Actual or real aggression. Number 31. It is an act positively strong, showing the wrongful intent of the aggressor which is not merely threatening or intimidating attitude but a material attack. A. Burden of proof. B. Eminent unlawful aggression. C. Unlawful aggression and D. Actual or real aggression. Number 32. To be appreciated as mitigating, it must be made to a person in authority or his agent. It may be present if made after the issuance of a warrant of arrest but before actual arrest is made. A. Voluntary surrender. B. Recidivism. C. Habitually reiteration. And D. Treachery. Number 33. X, Y, and Z conspired to kill A. They went to the house of A. Upon arrival, Z only acted as lookout in the yard of A. Y accompanied X to the room where A was sleeping. It was X who shot A to death. What is the participation of X, Y, and Z to the crime of murder? A. X, Y, and Z are principals by direct participation. B. X, Y are principals by direct participation. Z. Accomplice and D. Y as accomplice. Question number 34. A fine of from 200 to 6,000 imposed by the court after due hearing is blank. A. Afflictive. B. Correctional. C. Light. And D. Heavy. Number 35. Those who directly forces another to commit a crime are also categorized as A. Principal by direct and B. Principal by inducement C. Principal by indispensable cooperation and D. 
principal by indirect cooperation. Number 36. A and B agreed to rape C. D proceeded to the room of C whereupon A with a knife pointed to the neck of C, ordered C to lie down, and when he was having sex with C, with C, B was holding both arms of C. What is the liability of B? A. Principal by direct participation. B. Principal by inducement. C. Principal by indispensable cooperation. And D. Principal by indirect cooperation. Number 37. E. Shoots B. Hitting but not more mortally. So B grappled for the position on the gun until B succeeded in wrestling it from A. Immediately thereafter, B shot A whom he killed. Prosecuted for homicide, B interposed self-defense. Decide. A. B can invoke self-defense because the provocation made by A in shooting and wounding B is sufficient to prevent further harm to him. B. There was no self-defense. Since A was already disarmed, hence there was no more aggression to stop or repeal as B shot A when he was unarmed and defenseless. And C, there was self-defense. Since A already disarmed, hence there was no more aggression to stop or repeal as B shot A when he was already unarmed and defenseless. And D, none of the above. Number 38. Is the accidental killing of bystander while X was acting in self-defense that is in stopping or repelling the actual aggression by Y against him? A. Yes, for reckless imprudence resulting to homicide. B. Yes, X is liable for any crimes as he was not committing a felony when he acted in self-defense, although wrongful act done be different from what he intended to do. C. No, for reckless imprudence resulting to homicide. No, X is not liable for any crimes as he was not committing a felony when he acted in self-defense, although the wrongful act done be different from what he intended to do. Number 39. It is talking about the procedure in handling the case to determine whether or not the person is guilty with the crime that being charged against him. A. Substantial due process. B. Procedural due process. C. Due process. And D. A and B only. Number 40. It is considered as a restriction on making of the laws or rules and regulations. A. Substantial due process. B. Procedural due process. C. Due process. And D. A and B only. Number 41. A man while sleeping dreamed that he was attacked by his enemies. Suddenly, he got up, took his bolo and killed his wife and wounded his father. Is he criminally liable? Decide. A. The man is liable even if he did not intend to kill his wife and wounding of his father, which is analogous to mistake of identity. B. No, because he acted under circumstances which are analogous to imbecile or insanity. As a result, his hallucination, he was completely deprived of consciousness of his act. And C. Circumstances. D. Aggravating circumstances. Number 42. Those circumstances which raise the penalty for a crime without exceeding the maximum applicable to that crime. A. Accepting circumstances. B. Mitigating circumstances. D. Just, C. Justifying circumstances. And D. Aggravating circumstances. 43. A person who was compelled to bury the body of one who was murdered by the killers, striking him with the butts of their guns, threatening to kill him too if he continues resisting the order, was compelled to do so. Is not criminally liable because... A. He acted under the compulsion of an irresistible force. B. He acted under the impulse of an uncontrollable fear of an equal or greater injury. C. He acted under the compulsion of an irresistible force. And D. All of the above. Number 40, 44. A. With a revolver in his hand threw a knife at B and ordered him to kill C. A person sleeping nearby. Otherwise, he will shoot B to death and being terrorized B, killed C. Is B criminally liable for murder? A. No, because he acted under the impulse of an uncontrollable fear of equal or greater injury. No, because he acted under the compulsion of an irresistible force. C. Yes, because he acted under the impulse of an uncontrollable fear of equal or 
greater injury. And D, yes, because he acted under the compulsion of an irresistible force. Number 45, there are three kinds of principles, namely, principle by induction or inducement, principle by indispensable cooperation, C, principle by direct participation, and D, all of the above. Number 46, those directly induce another to commit the crime and those crime and those who directly forces another to perpetrate the offense are called A. Principal by direct participation B. Principal by inducement C. Principal by indispensable cooperation and D. All of the above Number 47 Those who cooperate in the commission of an offense by another act without which it would not have been accomplished A. Principal by inducement B. Principal by direct participation C. Principal by indispensable cooperation and D. All of the above Number 48 Under Rule 128 in Section 3 under the new rule in admissibility of evidence talks about that evidence is admissible when it is relevant to the issue and not excluded with a blank The law of these rules A. Constitution B. Evidence C. Rule and D. None of the above Number 49 it refers to the act that adjusts the amount or value of the property damage that is imposed under Act Number no. 2815 or the revised penal code as amended. A. RA Number no. 10591. B. RA Number no. 10519. C. RA Number no. 10951. And D. None of the above. Number 50. Are those grounds for exception from punishment because there is one thing in the agent of the crime? Any of the conditions which make the act voluntary or negligent A. Exempting circumstances B. Mitigating circumstances C. Justifying circumstances and D. Alternative circumstances Number 51 It is the burden of proof required in criminal liability or criminal crime or offense A. Reasonable doubt B. Clear and convincing evidence C. Preponderance of evidence and D. Substantial evidence Number 52. A with a revolver should be missing him, but the bullet hit and killed A's father. Father, I, A committed a crime of attempted homicide with parricide. What type of crime was committed? A. Complex crime. B. Compound crime. C. Special. And D. All of the above. Number 53. It is the evidence required for any civil liability or civil offenses that you have committed against the other party which you prejudice the rights A. Reasonable doubt B. Clear and convincing evidence C. Preponderance of evidence and D. Substantial evidence Number 54 It is an act of a person ascribed as the author or the owner that he acted freely and consciously meaning he intended to do the act A. Imputability B. Responsibility C. Guilt and D. None of the above Number 55 is when someone is aiming your revolver that is about to squeeze the trigger or by opening a knife in your presence that you're going to stab on you or there is a positively strong attack against you meaning it is in the point of happening this is an example of what lawful aggression a physical and lawful aggression b imminent and lawful aggression c both a and b and d none of the above number 56 it is considered as a physical assault or physical attack that will imperil to the life of a person A. Lawful aggression B. Unlawful aggression C. Aggression and D. Both A and B Number 57 Meaning to say you have the right to be alive you have the right to be protected against physical harm includes the right to have a good living meaning to say we must have a decent or standard way of living a. Right to liberty B. Right to property C. Right to live and D. Right to life Number 58 It is generally applicable to all crimes A. Inherent B. Qualifying C. Generic and D. Specific Number 59 It is necessarily accompanies the, the commission of a crime Immediate premeditation in thief and staffa a. Inherent B. Qualifying C. Generic and D. Specific Number 60 Apply only to specific crimes 
A. Inherent B. Qualifying C. Generic and D. Specific Number 61 Those that change the nature of the crime A. Inherent B. Qualifying C. Generic and D. Specific 61 Includes need to restrain not to be deprived of their freedom They should be given enough opportunities to do what they wanted to do as long as their acts does not violate any laws in the law of the land or does not prejudice the rights of others a right to liberty b right to property c right to life and d right to life number 63 it is a law must hear before it condemns which upon inquiry renders judgment only after trial a trial b process c due process and d both a and b number 63 Number 64. It is an act itself is not a crime unless an intention were so. A. Aberratio ictus. B. Praetor intentionim. C. Error in personi. And D. Actus non facit rium nisim in citria. Number 65. It is an act that is considered a crime, however, not punishable by law, by reason of public policy and sentiments. That is sentiments, not settlements. By reason of public policy and sentiments. A. Absolutory cause. B. Investigation. C. Causes and D. None of the above. Number 66. In Rule 130 under Section 2 of the New Rule, it is consist of writings, recordings, photographs, or any material containing letters, words, sounds, numbers, figures, symbols, or their equivalent or other modes of written expression offered as proof of their contents A. Documents B. Documentary C. Documentary Evidence and D. Document as Evidence Number 67 What crime exists when a single act constitutes two or more grave or least grave felonies or when an offense is necessary means for committing the other? A. Complex crime B. Composite C. Continuing and D. Compound Number 68. It is an element of responsibility for a man cannot be made to answer for the consequences of a crime. A. Responsibility. B. Irresponsibility. C. Guilt. And D. Imputability. Number 69. It is the quality by which an act may be ascribed to a person as its author or owner. A. Responsibility B. Irresponsibility C. Guilt and D. Imputability Number 70 It is the obligation of suffering the consequences of the crime A. Responsibility B. Irresponsibility C. Guilt and D. Imputability Number 71 It includes stale pictures, drawings, stored images, x-rays, films, motion pictures or videos a. Film B. Photography C. Documents and D. Documentary Number 72 Which of the following enumeration is an example of an afflictive penalty? A. Fine B. Aristo Mayor C. Prison Mayor and D. Distiero Number 73 This pertains to the act of a person A. Exempting circumstances B. Justifying circumstances C. Justice League and D. None of the above Number 74. This pertains to the actor in the commission of the crime. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Justifying circumstances. B. Justice. C. Justice League. And D. None of the above. Number 75. It refers generally to the acts that are prohibited by special laws. A. Felony. B. Mala in si. C. Mala insist. D. Mala prohibita. Number 76. The person committed a crime is exempted from criminal and civil liability. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Justifying circumstances. C. Justice League. And D. None of the above. Number 77. The person who committed a crime is exempted from criminal liability but he is civilly liable. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Justifying circumstances. C. Justice League. And D. None of the above. Number 78. Under this rule, crimes are not triable in the courts of that country unless their commission affects the peace and security of the territory 
or the safety of the state is endangered? A. French rule, B. Spanish rule, C. American rule, and D. English rule. Number 79. When the law attaches capital punishment or afflictive penalties, the felony is said to be A. Grave, B. Light, C. Least grave, and D. Serious. Number 80. Infractions to the law punishable by Aristo Minor or a fine not exceeding 200 pieces or both. A. Grave, B. Light, C. Least grave, and D. Serious. Number 81. This person suffering from mental condition that their mental condition is analogous to a child, childishness, and they are advanced in age, but their mental condition is the same as a child having an age between 2 years old to 7 years old. A. Person with special needs, B. Imbecile person, C. Insane person, and D. In love person. Number 82. Aberratio ictus, in which the perpetrator is criminally liable, means mistaken identity, mistake in the blue. C. Results are less than intended, and D. Result is greater than intended. Number 83. Exempted in all criminal liability because there is a complete absence of intelligence, meaning you don't have any idea on the effects or on the outcome of the act. D. Have been committed because there is a complete absence of intelligence. A. Person with special needs. B. Imbecile person, C. Insane person, and D. In love person. Number 84. In Rule 130 under the New Original Document Rule of Section 4 states that an blank of a photograph includes blank or any blank therefrom. A. Original negative print. B. Original positive print out. C. Original positive print in. And D. Original negative print out. Number 85. A and B are neighbors. During a drinking spree, A punched B without any provocation. B's injury required medical attendance for a period of 7 days. Immediately thereafter, is P O N T Anga, whose help was sought by B, took the statement of B and did not know what to do. What crime was committed by A. A. Slight physical injury. B. Serious physical injuries. C. L. Treatment. And D. Least serious physical injury. Number 86. Considering the nature of the offense committed by A, is P O N T ang should A file the case directly with the court, B instruct B to file the matter first before the barangay, C file the case before the prosecutor's office, and D file the case himself before the barangay court. Number eighty-seven, assuming that the result of the action of A was death instead of a mere physical injuries against B, is P O N T ang should. In his investigation and report, concentrate and stress on whether or not A was drunk at the time. The Barangay Court has no jurisdiction over the case. Whether or not B was also drunk and D none of the above. Number 88. Assuming that A was drunk at the time that he committed the offense, his drunkenness would be considered as A. Mitigating circumstances B. Aggravating circumstance C. Exempting circumstance and D. Alternative circumstance Number 89. Exempted from criminal liability when he acts or committed the crime or that at the time of the commission of the offense, he is insane. However, if during such acts it shows that he acted during lucid interval, then he cannot invoke or that person is not exempted from criminal liability because the presumption of the law is that a person acted sane or during his sanity, meaning the one who invoked that he has acting insanity during the commission or at the time of the commission of the crime should provide the so-called clear and convincing evidence. A. Person with special needs. B. Imbecile person. C. Insane person and D. In love person. Number 90. During custodial investigation at the Central Police District in Quezon City, A was informed of his constitutional right to remain silent and to have competent and independent counsel. He decided to waive his right to counsel and proceed to make statement admitting commission of a robbery. Is A's statement is admissible in evidence against him? Because A. The right to remain silent and to counsel cannot be waived. B. It was not made in the presence of the council. C. The waiver was not made in writing and in the presence of council. And D. It was not made in writing. Number 91. Assuming that all conditions in the waiver were properly observed except the right to counsel, which is we because A. Could not afford the service of one. A. Statement will be A. Admissible because A. Was informed of his right to counsel but he could not afford to hire one. Inadmissible because A. Must be provided with counsel free of charge. C. Admissible because A. Did not insist on his right to counsel and he voluntarily waived it. D. Admissible in evidence against him because all the conditions were present in the waiver. Number 92. 
assuming that the public prosecutor on the basis of now written confession of A, who with his right of counsel because he could not afford one, filed the information against him and the judge after trial, convicted A on the basis of his written confession, A would like to appeal his case to a higher court. The appeal should be filed A with 30 days from time A's counsel the official who was absent of the time of the promulgation received a written copy of the judgment of conviction. B within 30 days from the date the case was submitted for resolution and C within 15 days from the promulgation of judgment and D within 15 days from the date of the pre-trial conference. Number 93. Assuming that A's appeal was filed 30 days after his counsel the official learned of the judgment, the appeal should A. Not be given due course because the judgment which were rendered after trial was obviously correct anyway. B. Given due course because it was filed within reglementary period and C. Not be given due course because the confession was really inadmissible against A and the judgment of conviction must be reversed and D. None of this. Number 94. What is the effect of an accused who was being imbecile or insane during the commission of the crime? A. They shall be confined to hospital for purposes of rehabilitation and treatment. They cannot be able to be released from confinement without the order from the Honorable Court and of course concurrence with the Director of Health in order for them to go back or to continue the criminal proceeding provided an insane person is acted uh, during lucid interval and during the trial. B. Confined only at home for special treatment. C. Both A and B and D. None of this. Number 95. Under the law, the warrant of arrest shall remain valid unless A. After the lapse of 10 days from its issuance, B. It is served or lifted, C. After the lapse of the period for the police to execute the same, and D. After the lapse of the period for the police to make his report. Number 96. The procedure which allows the affidavit of counter affidavit of the parties or their witnesses to constitute as their direct oral testimony in case subject, however, to cross-examination. A. Revised rule on summary procedure. B. Revised rules on criminal procedure. C. Revised rules on evidence. And D. Revised penal code. Number 97. The law providing the rights of a person arrested, detained, or under custodial investigation is Republic Act No. 7691. B. Republic Act No. 8493. C. Republic Act No. 7438. And D. Republic Act No. 7659. Number 98. It is a form of dementia precox which someone will cannot distinguish between right or wrong or between fantasy from reality. A. Schizophrenia. C. Kleptomania. C. Somnambulism or sleepwalking. And D. None of the above. Number 98. Examine the mental condition of the young man. A. Cognition. B. Volition. C. Organization. And D. Violation. Number 100. It is a kind of test that apply in mitigating circumstances. A. Cognition. B. Volition. C. Organization. And D. Violation. 101. Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006. A. Republic Act 9344. B. Republic Act 9334. C. Republic Act 9443 and the Republic Act 9433. Question number 102. Exempting circumstances that are provided under Article 12 of the RPC. A. General exempting circumstances. B. General rule. C. Specific exempting circumstances. And D. Specific rule. 103. Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. A. RA9965. B. RA9155. C. R A nine one six five and D R A nine one nine five. Number one hundred four. Are those circumstances that also may be found under revised penal code, like under Article twenty, which provides an exemption to the relatives who committed being an accessory to the crime for concealing the body of the crimes? A. General exempting circumstances. B. General rule. C. Specific exempting circumstances and D. Specific rule. Question number 105. It is an act of a minor at the time of the commission of the crime that he can distinguish between right from wrong. A. Juvenile. B. Minor. C. Discernment. D. Descendant. Question number 106. It is an act adjusting the amount or the value of property and damage on which a penalty is based and the fines imposed under the revised penal code amending for the purpose of Act Number 315, otherwise known as the Revised Penal Code as amended. 
ARA number 10591, BRA number 10991, and CRA number 10955, and D, Republic Act 10951. Question number 107. It is an act providing for a comprehensive law on firearms and ammunition and providing penalties for violations thereof. A, RA number 10591, B, RA number 10991, C, R, A, number 10955, and D, Republic Act 10951. Question number 108. Is one of the circumstances that will affect criminal liability as provided also under Article 12 of the Revised Penal Code or Act number 3815 as amended? A, exempting circumstances, B, justifying circumstances, C, general circumstances, and D, specific circumstances. 109. Aggravating or mitigating according to the nature and effect of the crime and other condition attending its commission. A. Exempting circumstances. B. Alternative circumstances. C. Justifying circumstances. D. Aggravating circumstances. 110. Why is that the prescription of crime is act of grace by the state? A. Because of the lapse of period of time where the state can no longer exercise its no power to prosecute the criminal case. B. Because of the lapse of a period of time where the state can no longer exercise its power to prosecute the criminal case. C. Because of the lapse of period of time where the state can longer exercise its power to prosecute the criminal case. And D. All of the above. Number 111. The forging, copying, or imitating of something without a right to do so and with the purpose of deceiving or defrauding. A. Treason. C. Thief. C. Counterfeiting. And D. Allegiance. Question number 112. It is the penalty found in the revised penal code state to the provision the felony of the homicide have the penalty of reclusion temporal. A. Imposed penalty. B. Penalty. C. Prescription. And D. Prescribed by law. 113. Those penalty given by the court for you to serve the sentence, the penalty applying the different mitigating circumstances, whether it is a mitigating circumstance, whether other circumstances or alternative circumstances to mitigate the crime that you committed. A. Impose, imposable penalty. B. Penalty. C. Prescription. And D. Prescribed by law. Question number 114. What article of the Revised Penal Code is applica applicable about prescription of penalty? A. Article 9. B. Article 26. C. Article 25. And D. Article 90. Question number 115. What article of the RPC is applicable about prescription of crime? A. Article 9. B. Article 26. C. Article 25. And D. Article 90. 116. It is a ways and means are employed for the purpose of trapping and capturing the lawbreaker in the execution of his criminal plan. A. Misfeasance. B. Entrapment. C. Inducement. And D. Instigation. 117. Is a breach of allegiance to a government committed by a person who owes allegiance to it. A. Treason. B. Thief. C. Counterfeiting. And D. Allegiance. 118. Bybust operation is an example of A. Instigation. B. Entrapment. C. Sit up. And D, both A and B. Number 119. Those where the act committed is a crime but for reasons of public policy and sentiment, there is no penalty imposed. A, impossible crimes. B, aggravating circumstances. C, absolutory causes. And D, complex crime. 120. One of the following is an alternative circumstance. A, insanity. B, intoxication. C. Passion or Obfuscation and D. Evident Premeditation So Mga na siya katapusan nga pangutahan na ako na to 120 1 to 120 is considered na to as practice and guide questions on selected topics on criminal law and jurisprudence so, the uh, final answer of this practice question will be uh, found at the comment section. Thank you and God bless.